بسم الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقداة من لساني يفقه قولي سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم ربي يتمم بالخير Respected Chairman, Dr. Mahmoud, respected brothers and elders, AQI family, all Ustada and Ustad, and finally our students, I'd like to welcome you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace and blessing of Allah be on all of you. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. All right, tonight's topic. A module one lesson 26 we're going to discuss and as usual I promised you to recap the previous lesson so I'll just go over them for last Saturday class which was 24 and 25 if you just bear with me and then we'll start on the actual lesson tonight right here we go 23, 24. Lesson 24 recap. Subject and object. Ismu fa'il, ismu maful. In this lesson, we have learned ismu fa'il and ismu maful. There are some rules explained at the beginning of this lesson. Rule number one fa'il and maful. Only found in jumla, filia, but ismu fa'il and ismu maful may be found in both jumla, filia, and jumla, tulismia. Rule number two is marfu dhamma and cannot be mansuf. But ismi fa'il may be in marfu or mansuf or majru status. Rule number three, maful always, but ismu maful can be marfu, mansu or majru. Rule number four, fa'il can be name, e.g. zaidun, but Ismu fa'il will not be a name. Be a name, yes. Other, uh, our teacher explained the formation of ismu fa'il. For example, the word used for the subject or the doer of an action is called fa'ilun. From the verb fa'ala, by placing an alif after the first letter, the middle letter is with a kasra, and the last letter is with a tanvin. Example. We have explained three consonant verb from trans form transformed into subject form by using the table format for both male and female version. Ismi Maful also explained on the same lesson. The word used for object which is affected by the action of the subject is known maf'ulun. Our teacher explained the formation of ismu, ismu al maful It is made from the verb fa'ala by placing mim before fa'kalima, then with sukun on fa'kalima, and waw after the second letter, example maf'ulun. Teacher also explained formation of maf'ulun on a table format, both for masculine and feminine. All students were advised to carry out homework and present them on WhatsApp for checking. Lesson number 25, recap. Muslim chart, must memorize. In this lesson, students were in, reminded to identify following Irab or status of isim, role of isim played in the sentence. The changes in an isim is masculine or feminine gender. The change is singular, dual and plural number. We have asked all those students who did not memorize Muslim chart, must memorize before any other lessons. So that was the Rick that we've done on Saturday. Uh, I know some students are 
concern about the maful uh, file and isma maful explained on Saturday. If uh, you still have any questions, you can always put it on the WhatsApp. But uh, if Dr. Mahmoud allow me, maybe I could explain to that as well, which probably take a look. Uh, start if you don't mind. As a principal uh, and the teaching method we follow, yeah. we would like to stick to it, Ustad. Okay. We don't teach this anymore. Okay. Why, Ustad? Uh, if, if on this subject, I'm just saying, Ustad Humera has done a brilliant job, mashallah. Then uh, I added it to Ustad. Okay. After that, there's nothing more to teach, sorry. What is remaining, anybody, as you said, I'm just repeating for last time, they have to go to, they have to do the work. It's, a, it's not a listening course. It means we're given all the information. That is enough. And that worked for most people. The, the, those few people who has got any shortfall, any gap, they need to go back to the YouTube video and the class recording. They have to do their job. We are doing our job. You don't do this here. Because we have done the best, alhamdulillah. Okay? And now they have to work. So this is a challenge. Yes, sir? Yeah. Sure. Okay. of successful completion. Those who success, they will have this book for module one and then module two. So they will have everything. They will have everything in one book, inshallah. Right. 26. Properties of noun and summary. In this lesson, we're not going to go through everything. This lesson is only a summary of what we've learned on lesson 9, 10, 11, and types, number, and gender. This is just divisions here. It's just telling us what we have learned. There isn't much I can explain here, except I can just read the PDF. But it's your work now to tell me I'm going to hide this and I want you to, or maybe interactive, why in this lesson to me? Who could that be? Uh, the, so the, there are four topics here, topic by topic. Yeah. I, T, and G. You invite someone to do introduce the Irab uh, section to other students. I'm sure there are some people there who would be happy yes. to do that, inshallah. Then yeah. type of noun and then in gender, inshallah. So, yeah, so Irab to start with, inshallah. Four volunteers. First one to explain the Irab lesson for me. Mm. Who would that be? Yeah. And if you let me simply find we would welcome that. Brother Fazlul, you raised your hand. Do you want to explain the Arabs? Asalaamu Alaikum, Ustad. Yes, I can do. Uh, uh, okay. Inshallah. You can see the PDF. Yeah. So, um, Arab, as Ustad mentioned, we covered in lesson 10. Uh, on the last letter of the ism, according to their endings, they are given different Arab status. And, the, and, the, and there are three. The first one, number one, for example, well, if they, with a Dhamma, then its Arab is called Marfu status, and in short, it's Rafa. Number two, 
if the ism ends with a fatha, then it's irab status. And in short, nasab. And lastly, number three, if the ism, ism ends with kasra, then it's irab is called majroor. God. And that is the uh, Iraq part of this lesson. Jazakallah khair. MashaAllah. Good. Well done, Islam. Yeah. Right. Sister Nazneen. Yes. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum wa Yes. Wa You can mm -hmm. do the type of noun for me, please. Okay. There are uh, two types of noun. Ustaz. Yes. Alhamdulillah. You yes, can sir. go beyond this PDF file if you want to, in order to really present okay. it. Okay, inshallah. So you have the inshallah. no time no time limit here. Inshallah. Okay. Okay. Inshallah. Inshallah. Types of noun. One is common noun and one is proper noun. Common noun is like you know it ends with tanwin damma damma ten, and like kalamun. It's name of any. It's not name of particular thing, but it is common uh, like kalamun uh, kitabun rajulun and proper noun is a particular noun which starts with al or it is particular name there is only single dhamma there is no uh, tanwin and uh, and particular name is name of a particular person a particular thing belonging to somebody or the name of the country uh, uh, proper noun. Like example is Muhammadun name of a person. Kalamun is name of Al Kalamu is a particular pen of a particular person. So it's Zaid's pen. Then Al Hajaru particular stone. Al Aswadu is a color name of a color. So any particular color or any particular thing starts with Al Ten. Mashallah. Okay. You happy? Yes. 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 yes that's fine. Uh, she's oh, on on there to start. If I could uh, yeah. just add, and you need to also know that the tips. Ma uh, vifa. Mm -hmm. Can somebody tell me what's the meaning of the word ma vifa? Proper noun. Proper and noun. Nakira is a yeah. common the, the, noun. The I word forgot that. Marifa, that is important. In Arabic, thing. yeah. In Arabic, what does it mean in Arabic? What's the translation? Like, that like knowing the known. Uh, uh, okay, it's a tarif, yes. it's a tarif yes. of a person or a yes. thing. So yes. tarif is tarif. Okay. Tarif. Marif. Arafa. Arafa. Arafa, the root verb, Arafa means he knew, to knew. know. He knew. Yes. So from that, it's, a, it's an ism, it's a maful anyway. So proper noun means ma'rifa. We must use these terminologies as, yes. as much as we can. Nakira ma'rifa. Nakira ma'rifa. Common, common noun is a proper noun is used in some regions across the world when we study Quranic Arabic, mm -hmm. but definite noun, indefinite noun is universal. In English, these two are Ifa and Nakira, Arabic name we have to remember. Now, Ma'arifa means Sorry, no. No, no, no. These are, these are not taught in the class, but it's an extra thing. And it's Marifa means it's known, it's definite. Now the de power of definiteness comes. Definite, specific, it's known. It's one thing pointing to one specific thing. That's Marifa. Self it tells you. And so, more important, directly connected is definite now. Marifa. Nakira is just opposite, means unknown, non specific. Of non non specific noun, how would we identify a non specific and specific, which is definite and indefinite, 
what are the alamot there? Sign. Who can say? Nak alamot. And mani fanaun. Dhammate. Correct. Double tanai. Tanvini in the end. Double dhamma. Dhammata. Okay. Now, if you see that, that's a nakiran. Or dhamma at the end, or al at the beginning, that is definite. That's madhipa. This is general common sense we have to apply. We are just going to the next chapter, next uh, lesson. But before you go, this is something we teach, you will teach as well. And you will see. People have missed it out. And maybe even not sure about that. When you learn the first lesson, it says Kali, Kalima. There are three types of Kalima. Okay, one is Isim, one is Hal. And under Isim, it's all about names. Names of object, names of things, name of place, name of people, name of all names. Okay? And there was one thing there, name of action. Can somebody give an example of name of action? That is also name. Kaim, that is also an isam. Kaim, mm -hmm. jealous. Jali Sun, Jali Sun is yeah. sitting. sitting. Can you see? It's a it's not fail, it's a name of an action. You need to understand it very clearly, brothers and sisters. It's a verbal noun that is not a verb, it's an idea, it's a body has that it's running. Swimming mm -hmm. is good. Nobody swam. Nobody is going to swim. Nobody said anything. It didn't happen in the past. It did. It did no matter. The event didn't take place. But we find it hard sometimes to explain this to some students. So you have to remember that doing something, actual action didn't take place or has not take place, and. It is still an ism, only the, the name of that action. Name of that action. And that is called uh, Masdar. We haven't studied Masdar yet to start, right? That's right. No. Not, not yet. But, but out of all these names, of names of different things, name of action, that is also important for you to remember because it is going to be heavy uh, mm -hmm. later on. That, that concept, understanding, inshallah. Uh, uh, sister, you have done very well, and I appreciate your participation and uh, the way you said it. That's very, very nice, mashallah. Very okay. Nice. <clears throat> okay. The next person explain yeah. to me the Muslim chart, please, or number, where you have mm -hmm. to identify the number for me. So there should be, many, be the next many people. Person. Any volunteer? Anyone, because it's for your good, you know, like we'll study. Yeah, sister, uh, sister, sister Nazneen. 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 Oh, yeah, somebody. yeah, somebody new, yeah, somebody new. Thank you very much. You are going to be a student, a uh, teacher one day, and you're gonna have to teach your students. So, how are you going to do it if you don't do the? We want you to. Tell us what you've learned from this Muslim chart. What time? There should be. I, th I, I thought there will be competition for this. Yeah. <laughs> People here uh, are, are very good on that, I know. Uh, yeah. Sister. 
please. Can you do that for me? Yes, I can do it. But I was just hesitating yeah. because my voice is broke, but I can do it. Go ahead. Go he, ahead. You introduce this to us, Muslim chart. <laughs> Whatever you want to say, please. Okay. Numbers, uh, adadul. So it's singular, dual, uh, plural. Singular mufra, dual musanna, and plural jama. Uh, so plural nouns are mainly of two types. Uh, it's sound or unbroken plural, um, jama sa'ilin. And broken plural, jama mufassir and jama tafsir. Um, so basically, um, in uh, we have when we uh, let's say when we uh, do the singular dual plural, we have three cases. Uh, we can do it mar in marfu status, in mansub status, in uh, majru status, and uh, we divide it into feminine and masculine. To, um in a masculine uh for example in profa status let's take um i want to take another word not muslim one let's take um kafirun for example um so in rafa state kafirun uh dual would be kafirani and plural would be kafiruna uh nasab state would be kafiran kafiraini uh kafirina Kafirin, uh, jar state, kafiraini, kafirina. This is muzakkar state, this is um, um, masculine, masculine. And in muanna state, uh, rafa would be um, kafiratun, uh, kafiratani, kafiratin, uh, kafiratan, kafirataini, kafiratin, um, kafiratin, kafirataini, kafiratin. Um, one uh, would be this. So basically, in Nasab and Jar, as you see, in feminine and masculine are the same. Uh, the dual, uh, the dual and plural part are the same. And um, we have broken plurals: Jama Mukassar, Jama Tafsir. For example, um, let's say Rasulun, a messenger, and Rusulun, uh, messengers. Uh, or Ainun, um, fountain, and Uyunun, uh, fountains. Mm, I guess that's mm. it. MashaAllah. Mm. Mm. Very well explained. Yeah. Very well explained. Can you just uh, repeat that? Uh, uh, can you yeah. just repeat the feminine version of dual and plural for me? Because I think dual. you have a mistake in it. Dual and plural, feminine, right? Yeah. Uh, Muslim. Ah, mu uh, kafir. With kafirun or Muslim? Kafirun. Uh, kafirataini, kafiratin, and kafirataini, kafiratin. Kaf dual ka for for Rafa, Kaf kafirataini or kafiratani? Rafa, Rafa, Rafaani. Yes. Nasab is kafirataini, Jar is kafirataini. Good and plural and plural. Uh, uh, Rafa Nasab is kafirat, kafiratin, and Jar is kafiratin. Yeah, it sounded like the. Uh, it sounded like yes. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Okay. That's fine. Good. Uh, 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 May I ask yes. a question? Uh, yes. Uh, I'm so sorry, but. Um, English uh, meaning of these things. When you say Muslims read Quran, if you say Quran Muslims, mm. is that the same thing, or is that? It's okay. When you say, but but in English, when you say Quran is read by Muslims versus Muslims read Quran, uh, the the fail and uh, Maful in that those two English okay. uh, sentences right, Sister, are not the same. So I'm having a problem with the you have, English part before, of it because from English have, grammar that doesn't okay. make sense. Before Sorry. you, before you have problem with that, have you memorized Muslim chart? Because that is a problem. 
at english is not a problem whatever you say okay so please 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 uh, make it up okay let's carry on ustad i have a question sorry mr fariba i see so fariba you have a look at the video and watch the recording inshallah so i have uh, i have a feeling ustad that there will be some more uh, interested to do this and it would be nice to hear from two more yes so i'm waiting with that on that uh, sister uh, bushra i have a question sister bushra yeah. is there yeah yeah okay. now can you tell me muslim chart muslim chart muslim chart everybody is talking about muslim chart yeah. in this chart what do we learn about the grammar just give me headings that is muslim chart has got this explained that mm -hmm. explained and something else explain and something else explain can you tell us mm -hmm. what is taught by muslim chart why is this so important what does it have it um first uh, by i think by the harakas we can see, we can identify the noun here good um, and that and that one. is called that that's, is called era that is era. called era yeah, right that's stated. okay that's the point i'm saying mm -hmm. Uh, um, second, properties of ism, sister. Uh -huh, properties yeah. of ism. How many properties of isms are there? Four. Four. And they are called I. Irab, uh, types, uh, fasamun, and numbers, adadun, and gender jins. Okay. Try to get used to with our term ITNG, -T please. Yeah. Okay. Because inshallah, you will be teaching this model to others. So I, ira, T, type mm -hmm. of noun. N for number, G for gender, and mm -hmm. obviously the Arabic you should learn at the same time, yeah. inshallah. Mm -hmm. Now, so we, we Ira, Muslim chart is extremely useful to learn how the Irab changes from singular to dual to plural mm -hmm. in rafa state, nasab state, jar state. Mm -hmm. So Irab is centered around Muslim chart. What is the second benefit and key learning from it? First, uh, we have got Iraq. Mm -hmm. Second, I think um, we can identify the gender as well. Good. Um, if Good. we learn the Muslim chart. Good, absolutely. Uh, and um, of course, the numbers. I mean, third is singular, number. Yeah, singular dual okay. plural. Uh, on, yeah. Only thing which is not here in Muslim chart out of these four properties, what is not type. there? Huh? I think type, type. yes, Kasamun, we can't identify that. Yeah, type of noun is not there. Kasamun is the yeah. Arabic name of type. Okay, so yeah. in, apart from um, type of noun, all three properties part is this Muslim chart. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> How uh, can you tell, sister? To all others, this Ustad Muhammad and our Ustad Sadiq and myself and some other students have been saying that memorize it, memorize it, memorize it. It's going on for last four weeks. And what advice would you give? To learn by Sorry, what did you say? I was telling to learn it by heart. Learn it by heart and there is and no... Practice. And practice. Very good. We would like to... Words. Yeah, very good. Thank you very much indeed. Ustad, who else is coming uh, for you? i like Imran to have a go, please. Imran. Yeah, may I... Yeah. Uh, this is... Sorry, but may I say again one, one thing? I actually don't have any problem with the table the, or the Muslim chart. I have memorized it. I understand it. What I have problem with is that because I'm uh, very aware of English grammar, I'm just saying that the way it's set with the English part of it, just the, the right uh, column. Sister, sister, sister. That doesn't make sense. Uh, you, I'm you, sorry. Uh, well, well, I just have to well, say well, that because... Because I think no, it has please, been please, you've please, given please, the impression that I don't please, memorize it. I do memorize please it. Please listen to me. Okay. While teachers teach, 
in this AQI class, nobody is advised to ask question while okay, I'm teaching sorry. is going on. It's on the chat box if there is time and if the question is appropriate, it will be dealt with later. Okay, I won't okay. ask question. Thank you. So who is who is coming? Who is coming? Uh, Brother Imran, do you want to give it a try? Even yeah. if you're not fully confident, brother, go for it. Brother try this. Can you hear me? Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. Muslim again? Explain mm, to us. Explain uh, the yeah. whole chart, yes. And have you memorized it? Um. Yes, First I question. think so, yeah. <laughs> you think so? Yes. You already here. Stuff. Yes. So just, just do that. Try. Okay, inshallah. You, you must be inspired from mm. a colleague student, you know. She is done beautifully. So we need to do exactly the same. If not, better than her. So let's have a go. Have a go. Tell us what you think. I'm sorry, I'm not confident. <laughs> okay. Uh, Who's coming? Uh, next to be Fatima Abdullah. Sister Fatima. You can unmute yourself and Sister Fatima. Okay. It doesn't have to be that good. Sister Bushra was too good. Yeah. <laughs> I think she, she, she set a very high standard. She did. Uh, it is scary, I know. Um, Sister Fatima, come. Uh, uh, we will do this with you. Yeah. Give it a try. I don't know whether she's hearing me or not. Okay, let's go to uh, Ainun Nahar. Sister Aina Nahar, can you hear me? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Would you, would you be able to do a Muslim chart for us? Explain to us what you've learned and have you memorized it? Yes, I did. Okay, so it should be okay. You've heard Sister Bush. I'm, I'm not fully, yeah, Sister Bush, she said I understand all of it. Um, it's still not confident. So, okay, tips for you, sister. Uh, okay. and it's easy. Everybody has. Yeah, Shyam Shammi Akhtar will come now. She has offered you to start. Uh, sister, I know Nahar and others. Listen, if you haven't done it, you will not be able to do this ever. And our teachers said it. I remember, Ustaz Aisha said it. Ustaz Homera said it. Ustaz Sadiq said it, Ustaz Muhammad said it, that you shut the door for 15-20 minutes. You say it loudly. How many times? As many times as needed. And then you write it down on a piece of paper. How many times? As many times as you can. Five times, good. Ten times, even better. You just write the chart, draw the chart, and you fill it in. Muslimun, Muslimani, Muslimuna. And the tips for those who find it hard, it is absolutely simple. It's a blind memorization without looking at any meaning, nothing. You have to just remember there are three rows here. First row is Rafa. Second row is Nasab. Third row is Jar. At this stage, if you're confused what Rafa means, doesn't matter. You have to just memorize it. Rafa, Nasab, Jat. Top, one, two, three. Then your work starts. You got the Islam Muslim Moon. Rafa is Dhamma sign, Muslim Moon. The Muslim Moon is singular. Now you have got three rows, singular, dual, plural. Muslim Moon, then Muslim, Muslim will remain same everywhere. 
all this chart, Muslim is fixed. And sometimes it will be Muslima, sometimes it could be something different. And I think it's all, yeah, it's all Muslima. From Muslimun, Musliman, Muslimani, you see, if you look at this, uh, dual column, male, female, can you see? In Muslima, 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 but plural is mu different. So Muslimun, then the second column is Ani. Muslima, Ani. Ani. And last column is Muslimuna. And on dual column and plural column, Ane you have to remember, and Una you have to remember. Ane first column, second, Ane first row, second row is Maini. Ane, Aini, Aini. And the last column is Una, Ina, Ina. Ane, Aini, Aini. Last column, Una, Aini, Una, Ina, Ina. Same. Feminine chart, Muslimatani, Muslimatani, Muslimatun, Tun is a sign of femininity. Muslimatun, Muslima, Muslimatani. Same thing that ta remain there, ane added, and aini, aini, tiny, tiny, tane, tiny, tiny. And atun at the end, last column, Muslimatun, atun, then atin. Are thin. So these are tips, but again, when you memorize something, when you're asked to memorize something, just, you know, you memorize a lot of things in your life. This is one of them. You have to just visualize it. Close your eyes and you can see first row, first one is this, second one is this, third one is this, then second row is this, like this. That can only be achieved by writing it many times and saying it loudly many times. That's the way. So, Sister um, <clears throat> Ainun. Yes, sir. And, and those who haven't uh, memorized it fully yet, have you done this, what we just mentioned? I have done a few times. How many times? Um, four times. 10, 20. Okay. And I say, so you failed because of you. This is not. Just didn't follow the instruction. This is proven, tested. This Madhi chart has to be memorized. Mudaryu chart has to be memorized. It's not for you. We all memorized it. Everybody memorized it blindly. Without the chart, you have to do this. And how can you do this? Again, write it 10, 20, 30 times and as many times. You don't get up from the task and surprise to see what happens. It could uh, take I've, half I've, an hour. I've got a good idea yeah. how to memorize. Yes. 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 You've got the PDF copy, yeah? Yes. Single out this slim chart. Every night before you go to sleep, right, you go to sleep 15 minutes before you actually go to sleep. So mm. if your schedule time is, let's say, 10 o'clock or 11 or 12 o'clock, you go there 15 minutes before, right? Then mm. bring this chart out and memorize it for 15 minutes and you see the result in three days time you will revisit again and you do the same and then you do that on the fifth day you do the same and you see the result that you have memorized all of them without any stoppage you can just with blind eyes you can say all of them 100 is that a good tip yeah. Okay. Okay. Inshallah. Inshallah. Uh, so the Shami Akhtar, please. Uh, yeah, Shami Akhtar, please. Assalamu alaikum, Ustad. I'm Waalaikum nervous. Uh, as Sister Bushra, she explained, Mashallah, so beautifully and confidently. Uh, but I will just, I will uh, try. <laughs> it's not going to be the yeah, best. Please, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No okay, worries. So,
uh, the numbers, there are three types of numbers, singular, dual, and plural. So plural nouns in Arabic uh, uh, are sound or unbroken plural, and they are mm -hmm. called jama salim, and uh, mm -hmm. broken plural are called jama mukassar or mm -hmm. jama taksir. In sound mm -hmm. plural or original words remain unchanged, for the dual form, just ani or aini are added to the last letter of the singular nouns. And mm -hmm. um, una or aini for the plural nouns. So if you look at the Muslim chart, uh, the easier way to remember them, um, if you just um, remember the first line, uh, in the Rafa status, which is uh, Dhamma, um, just uh, as you know, if it's Dhamma, that means you have to add at the end, Katibun, Dhamma Thang, Katibun. And uh, dual and plural, uh, we have to remember Katibani or Katibuna. And for the Nasab and Char, the dual and plural same. So we don't have to uh, memorize in that way because both of them are same. Katibaini or Katibina. And uh, uh, Jar form also same. Katibaini, Katibina. So if you just remember the dual and plural of Rafa scripts, Katibani, Katibuna, the Nasadan jar is um, the same. So we don't have to focus that much on Nasadan jar. Just Rafa, if you can remember, I think it will be easier for everyone mm. to remember. Inshallah. Mashallah. And okay. Also, uh, sorry, just one Ten minute. Minutes. Uh, for me, because I'm from Bangladesh, what I do, I write in Bangla. Uh, because it will, for me, it's easier to remember. <laughs> so I just uh, write down uh, uh, what I have to add uh, the last letter. I write write them the chart, Muslim chart, or any other uh, lesson, which because uh, some of the uh, words I find difficult to. As mm -hmm. Rafa is Mansuk, so sometimes in the lesson it comes as Mansuk, so I have to uh, flash back to the what is Mansub? So if it's Dhamma, that means Rafa. Because in short, is Rafa, but uh, uh, this is actually Mansub. So, so I just write them in Bangla so that it's, it can be easier for me to remember. So anybody, whoever, uh, different background, I think you know, they can try. It will be, it, can, it might help. Mashallah. Uh, if I am allowed to give a score to you, uh, I would give nine to Sister Bushra, and I'll give ten to you. That's that's how good it was. And if you do this next time, and Sister Bushra and others do it again and again, you will just get better and better. Alhamdulillah. Because why I gave you why I gave you one score more, because you started with a little bit more introduction about what Jammu Muzakkar is, Jammu Salim is, and all this, you know. Then he started, came to the actual topic, mashallah. Very good. Very good. So, so do you agree with me? Yeah, yeah. The both are good. They're both are very good. I think I would, both are good. Uh, I, I will give out the ten to both of them. Jammu Salim and Jammu Mukassa, yeah. they both did the same. Yeah, I would like and, I said I will give both of them ten out of ten. <laughs> I was I was trying to create a competition here. So you know yes, me. I know, I know, but can't <laughs> fold them. The one thing me. I would like to add, I remember when we had this class, I really enjoyed. Uh, at the end, we had to write down on the chat box, uh, like everyone has to do it quickly, so that no one can copy each other. So I think uh, it was very uh, productive and very. Uh, enjoyable lesson. I really enjoy it. Alhamdulillah. Good. Uh, on, on this note, I like to go back to all the other students, those who not memorized yet. This must be inspiring for all of you. You know, you must look at your colleagues and say, well, if they can do as good as this, at least we could do half of it. So, you know, you are in the platform where you with grammar we are doing our best to give it to you but some things you have to do 
and we can't do that. It is, it is only you can do it. So show some interest and and give it a go. I I think I like to call somebody else, inshallah, Yes, to please. to explain. Uh, Ishal Muhammad in my mind is on the list. Who wants to volunteer? Raise your hand and come forward. Sister Lisa. Uh, Yes, brother, you raised your hand. Okay. Yeah, last one, yeah. Okay, brother Isha is not answering. So next one would be. Mm. Mahmoud Akhtar, brother Junaid. Yes, either of one of them can do it. Don't mind. I would like to hear from Sister Nanda Nuri as well, if you are available there. Nanda doesn't know. Um, uh, what about Fatima Abdullah? Ask Fatima if she wants to do it. She, I called, but she didn't reply. Uh, what about Brother Shabir? Yeah. Do you want to try Brother Shabir? Mm -hmm. Or Hazira, Allah then Hazira. Okay, okay. No, uh, just, just, uh, Brother Sadif. Brother Sadif, are you available? Okay. Hello. Brother Sadif? Yeah. Who is this? Shakira. Okay, so, uh, I think we need to move on. Yes. So we need to move on. Uh, page, right? Yeah, somebody to explain. Okay, we'll call. Uh, Junaid not answered. All right. Mahmoud Akhtar did not answer. I, I can go over. Who is this? You are... uh, my name is Sadaf. Sadaf. Yes. Sadaf, yeah. Sister, I was so... noticing your... input on the whatsapp group and okay. i appreciate alhamdulillah uh, you Sorry. have a lot of lot of uh, potential keep it up and grow sister okay uh, sometime uh, sometime you know being a teacher with a lot of experience uh, we can feel sometime that someone has got a lot of potential and if they work hard, they could be very, very good. Some has got less potential, but again, if they put their effort, they also can do well. But uh, uh, you, you already, you know, drew our attention. Okay, so please give it a try, and keep trying, keep trying. Okay. Inshallah, inshallah. Should I go over the Muslim chart, or should I go over the gender? Anything you want. We would like yeah. it's your you, opportunity whichever you on this page it. on this page I, you can go to iraq again or anything it's up okay. to you uh, brother so i start Ustaz with the muslim chart it will just give me the opportunity to to revise as well and then okay yes. I go with yeah. 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 okay um <clears throat> so i will say it in a little bit different way but from the way you guys are saying but if you think that's not okay just stop me and i will change because I've, no. I would, I'm used to say it from like Rafa, Nasab, Jar, and then the dual, and then the what dual. I said, whatever way, whatever you want to say, okay. just present anything okay. from this page. Let's see. So, so and the chart is um, Muslimun, Musliman, Muslimin, the Rafa, Nasab, and Jar for singular. Mm -hmm. Then Muslimani, Muslimaini, Muslimaini, 
for the dual Rafa Nasabanja. And then Muslimuna, Muslimina, Muslimina. And that's for the um, masculine. For the feminine, uh, Muslimatun, Muslimatan, Muslimatin, Rafa Nasabja, Muslimatani, Muslimataini, Muslimataini. And uh, for the dual, and for the plural is Muslimatun, Muslimatin, Muslimatin. Um, just to reiterate what uh, Ustad, you have said in the class, um, this Muslim chart basically uh, uh, gives us information on three out of the four properties of the noun. Um, the first one being the Arab with the Rafa, Nasib, or Jar status of the, sound, of the noun. Um, the <coughs> sorry, the number is the second property. Um, the singular Wahid, uh, Musanna, or Jama. And then the third one, the third property of the noun that we get out of this chart is the jins, gender. gender. And for the gender, um, by default, all the nouns in Arabic are madhakkar uh, or masculine. Mm -hmm. And with, uh, when there are certain markers, then that noun is uh, becomes a noun. One of them is uh, if it's a, or a feminine by nature noun, um, like imra'atun uh, or um, yeah, Fat um, Fatimatun, Zaybun. Uh, exactly, uh, or even like Zainab. Zainab is a a, a, a girl's name. And then um, mm -hmm. nouns that end with a alif um, maqsura or a alif mamduda. And mm -hmm. I'm not, I still get mixed up between the two, but yeah, alif or ya or ta marbuta. Either one of these three is uh, considered a feminine noun, uh, except for when it is a male name, like talha. Talhatun mm -hmm. ends with a ta marbuta, but is a masculine noun. Um, also, uh, <coughs> sorry, um, body parts that are in pairs are oh. also considered feminine nouns. Mm -hmm. um, the names of cities and countries, places, are considered feminine nouns. And um, <coughs> I believe the broken, uh, mm -hmm. non-living thing Broken plural nouns are also considered feminine. Mashallah. Yeah, if you still want to say something, carry on. Yeah. I think there are some others, but I can't recall them. Yeah. So there was eight rules that we suggested that people try to memorize as, as much as they can. The reason being is that Uh, accept yeah. those eight accept those eight rules so it's easier to memorize yeah. the eight rules than memorize the nouns and then exclude the feminine yes and i remember just one more sorry i sorry for that there are nouns that the arabs said that they these are mm -hmm. considered feminine like um anar bir uh, Ardun. and others. Ardun. Jahannam is another category, names of fire. Fire, yeah. Names Some of are. fire. Names well, of fire. Oh, so all, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. This yes, is why Narun. That was names of fire. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, Narun is actually part of the fire category. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Sa no, Sa'irun, Sa'irun, burning fire. So mm -hmm. these are number five categories. <clears throat> Excuse me. And another one, sister, remember? Name of wind? Wind and sky. Wind, yeah. Yeah. And I'm colors? Hoping. Colors also considered uh, feminine? Yes. Yes. Colors. Uh, uh, Alif Maksura, Alif Mamdu, Ta Marputa. Yes. Uh, it's in that, yes. Number, under number two. Yeah. Okay. Very normally yeah. end with Alif Hamza. Yeah. Colors normally. Okay. Yes. By the un, sauda un, sorry, by sauda u, 
and uh, hamra u so colors are part of the number two rule uh, so uh, miss arab said so under that there are some something we have to remember ardun samaun harbun nafsun sabilun tariqun uh, shamsun now one odd thing one odd thing just not related shamsun, shamsun is like a shamsun has got the sun has got the light and moon is obviously okay. compared to sun's power but sun is feminine and kamarun is masculine who who decided that but no, we can't question uh, uh one more sister I mean, I don't remember. You, you you can't remember all eight together. I'm actually looking at the chart, sister. Number seven is himself. Said that. Cities. 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 Yeah. Cities and Did you say that? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Well, well done. done. Yeah, well, well done. done. So, how much score did you give her? Start out ten out of ten. Done. Very good. I'll give a ten out of ten. Okay, you only got 10 in your hand, yes. right? They do it okay. well. They do right. it well. No but problem. I like to see others doing as, as good as they are. You know? In inshallah. We're trying to inspire others as well. Yes. <clears throat> I want and you don't have to be that good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want them to, you know, you know, there is a saying that you have to mm -hmm. jump in at the end, deep end, or, you know, in order to swim out and to learn. But if mm -hmm. people are not taking that step, I I fear that they're not going to learn, and this they will is start. They will. They will yeah. start. I want them. Don't to give up. They if will. Whoever know, if they know little bit, it will mm. progress on them, and yeah. power. You know that mm. you know they want to learn more. They want to learn more. If they if they learn three, they want to learn four and five and six, and consequently everything. You know. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. Sister, uh, we uh, sorry, uh, Stad, uh, we would like to hear um, more. Actually, uh, having this experience today, Alhamdulillah, very good. Um, we're still looking at some names, uh, Sister Nisa. I don't know if you can uh, do that. It would be nice to hear if you could uh, give it a try. Inshallah. Sister Nada, you can come forward. We are here. We'll do it together if needed. And Juma Khan. Sister Hazira has done, right? Uh, no, she's not done yet. Why has she not done it yet? She did put her uh, hand up, I think, while my other sister. Sister Hazira, you can come now. Yes. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum yeah. You you can do Muslim chart or you can do any other uh, of these four properties of Islam. You you introduce you are you're teaching us in other words. Okay. Yeah. Um, and if I just you want me to go over the the last part, the the fourth property, um, yeah. can do that also. Yeah. Jannah, mashallah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So now, uh, what we are going through today is the type of the nouns. So no, actually, the, the, there are four properties uh, to identify. So we have uh, the first one is arab. The second one is the type. The third one is the number, uh, and the fourth one is the gender. The first three ha have been done by uh, other what for them so now i'll be just going through the fourth uh, property of the nouns which is the gender so now as we know that there are two types of genders the masculine and the feminine. right so generally all of the nouns are considered masculine unless it is indicated by a feminine sign and there are eight signs we have to look in for is a feminine noun 
so now the first one is very easy so it's just uh, feminine by nature the names which are feminine by nature like for example Aisha Fatima so now if you hear the names by nature they sound feminine so these are considered as feminine nouns the second sign to look in for uh, the sign of femininity is the ta marbuta, which is the round ta, and it comes at the end of the noun. So, so the ta marbuta, the alif maqsura, and the alif mamduda. These signs appear at the end of the word. For example, jannatun. When you see the ta marbuta at the end, you know that this noun is a feminine noun. The other one is alif maqsura. Now, what is alif maqsura? Alif maqsura is a symbol is uh, indicated by a symbol ya which appears at the end of the word for example in the words kubra bushra sogra that there will be a ya written so whenever you see that you know that that noun is a feminine noun the other one is the alif mamduda now what is this alif mamduda the alif mamduda is a symbol which comes in a combination of the alif and a hamza so that is called alif mamduda this symbol appears at the end of the word uh, for instance like in the the names of the colors for example bayda'u so if you see that there's alif and a hamza in the end so that pair is together called alif mamduda and it shows that it is a feminine noun the other examples, Sauda'u, which is black, which means black. Bayda'u means white. Sauda'u means, Sauda'u means black. And Hamra'u is red. So in, in these examples, which are the names of the colors, you see the sign Alif and Hamza in the end, which is Alif Mamduda. So when you see this sign, you know that this is a feminine noun. Now, this is, there is an exception to this rule. All of the nouns which have a ta marbuta or the alif mamduda ending are not always considered feminine. There are some exceptions to this rule. For example, if there is a word ulama'u, so there is alif mamduda in the end, but that will not be considered as a feminine noun because it has already been uh, decided by the Arabs that uh, this is treated as a masculine noun. Like And also ummatun. And if you see this, there is a tamar buta in the end. Just by looking at the symbol, you cannot jump to the conclusion that it is a feminine noun. Oh, All right, go. Um, yeah, so you must know the exceptions uh, also to know, to decide whether the noun is a masculine or a feminine noun. Now, the third one is the parts of the body which comes in pair. Like the parts of two hands comes in pair. So they will be treated. Uh, uh, ears, two ears are treated feminine. Lips are treated feminine because they are the parts of the body which are in pair. Moving to the next one, we have whatever names of the winds are mentioned in the Quran, they all are treated feminine. Coming to the next, we have the names of the fire. We have the names of the fire. Like names of the fire mentioned in the Quran which are considered feminine moving on to the next uh, few names which are treated as feminine because these has been decided by the Arabs centuries ago and we have to just take it as it is it just default we just take it as it is so the earth the sky like for example arubun samaun considered as feminine now now moving to moving on with the next one we have the name names of these like makkatun it's uh misrun uh and then we have um, Pakistan. All of these are the names of the countries or the city. Now the last one is the 
broken plurals whatever broken plurals you have all of those are considered uh, 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 and uh, the broken plurals like we have the human excuse me i'm sorry i'm sorry about that That's so now the last story. one plurals can be human plurals or non-human plurals and the non-human plurals will be considered feminine singular like non-human plurals for example i yeah someone is a broken plural and it will be considered as a, a feminine singular also and uh, the singular for it is yaumun so now when you see these eight signs the noun is a feminine noun remaining this if you just cut out all of these eight things from other all of them are masculine these are all feminine nouns so this is the last property of the nouns by which you can know the gender of i hope that's clear yes excellent good wow Very uh, sadika are you there already sound like a teacher so who's that yeah, you know. your teacher teacher yeah. okay okay yeah. uh he so was there i don't know if he's still there okay well i wanted to ask him how much score would he give to sister hadira I I knew Hadira would do well because from, <laughs> uh, from the WhatsApp chat I heard with yes. her, I, I knew that's what I laughed. <laughs> everybody else to oh. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, mashallah. I'll start the, this. Um, this Hadira, yes. um, congratulations. Excellent you. job. Keep up the good work. I'm and very pleased. I'm very pleased. And... Uh, You'll get 10 out of 10 from me. 10 out, out of 10, 11 out of 10. Mm. I'm just trying to do by my, my best. Yes. Alhamdulillah. alhamdulillah. I keep feel it up. there's, there's keep it even up. more scope of uh, improvement from my side. I have to keep uh, working even more. Okay. Uh, um, you are start, uh, we only got about 15 minutes. Yeah. <clears throat> I have something to say. Yes. Yeah, so um, do you have anything to say? Sir? No, no. I think this lesson is is we're just a revision. This lesson is a revision. Not only that, it's a, it has been redot today by the students. Yes. That is that is the uh, conclusion on this. Alhamdulillah. It is. And that's what that's what your hard work, all of our hard work, uh, tells us, inspires us. Okay. And not everybody will do that. There will be always some winners and some losers, Ustad. Not everybody can be winner for some reason. However, they have the ability to just stop them. Anyway, inshallah, we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that everybody understands the need and push the right time and effort and follows the system, inshallah. inshallah. So... I would like to discuss about something else. Sharing. So Sadiq is not there. Uh, you can stop sharing, please, inshallah. Uh, am I able to share? Share? Yes. Uh, okay. Just give me one minute. Not it. You said I share you there? Yes. You said I share you there? Yes, yes, okay. yes. Yeah. I, well, I, 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 I want to draw everybody's attention, including our senior um, students here, as well as Ustad, Ustadas, everyone. Alhamdulillah. Um, how many people do know this surah? Suratul Asr. Almost every 
Otherwise, you will not be in this class, subhanAllah. So the next question is, how many of you understand the meaning of this? Not translation, but in true sense, the actual message from Allah in this surah. How many people have got it? If I ask that question, maybe it will not be 100% of those who know the translation. I'm talking about the, the background meaning of it. Okay? This is something missing our brothers and sisters. We need to focus at this surah. Full Quran is full of guidance. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent to our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And it's a full of guidance. Everything is important for you and me. It's a complete guidance for the whole mankind. But Imam Shafi said, if the Quran was not there, and only this Suratul Asr was there for the mankind, it would have been suffice. It would have been enough. Brothers and sisters, I'm just inviting you. It's my job. We do da'wa all the time, and I want you to feel the same. We would like to, you would need to understand this Surah. Letter by letter, word by word, word and the tafsir of it. I, I'm inviting you, I'm requesting you, I'm begging you. Because if you do that, something will happen to you. Something different will happen to you. And that will benefit Jaliya. So you would be doing exactly the same thing. So first invitation is to, to this surah. Uh, later on, uh, we will be doing a kind of discussion on this to come prepared and we will have a formal planning for it as well inshallah at al quran you will not only learn the quranic arabic only there are a lot of other things inshallah okay and few things i would like to share with you today have you taken my invitation to go through the whole translation go through each word by word understand the meaning and for this one, you to study some tafsir as well. Normally, we don't advise you to go to tafsir at this stage until you complete module one and module two. But on this one, I'm inviting you because I'm sure it will happen. Something will happen to you. Many other people, when they know, they say, oh, my God, I have to do it properly now. And there are a few words there specifically. Take a note, what tawassaw bil haq, what tawassaw. There are a lot of things there for you to know and apply, inshallah. Okay, next point. Um, what is the object of you attending this course? I, I would like to hear from two people quickly, please. Again, Sister, uh, Sister Hazira, I would say. Um, uh, Sadaf and Sister Nazneen, whoever, those who did very well today, just two people come forward. Just tell me, why are you studying this? Arabic course. Tell me. Yeah, I'm doing this course so that I can understand Arabic language as it has to be understood and know the meaning and why the ayah was uh, sent down and what was the uh, intention mm -hmm of that ayah and what is um, I want to understand in my own way rather than just going to in your own way rather than relying on somebody else mashallah good okay I don't need any other uh, response mashallah that's good and complete my question inshallah Allah will allow you as long as you mm -hmm. put your time and effort one day you will see inshallah whole Quranic ayah will become nice and clear in front of you inshallah we are Inshallah. waiting for that day. Inshallah, it's going Inshallah. to happen. It happens. And Inshallah. would you stop there, sister? Would you stop there? That you know no, it I now. Would... What would you do? Yeah, I would like to teach people then. 
Yes. And spread the words and do dawa, inshallah. And what is what is that uh, hadith uh, our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said about teaching? Do you remember but what is that hadith? And keep working and seek Allah's guidance and Allah's protection. Okay? Now <clears throat> I've got quite a lot to talk, so I'm just trying to fast, make it fast. Okay. Sure. So that should be in your mind. We are looking for those people. We we will be 365 days. All our team here willing to help you as long as you have similar kind of vision and mission. Inshallah. Listen. Oh. Our coach, my colleague is not here, so Sadiq, our vice principal. Uh, uh, primarily, we would like to give the best Quranic Arabic experience. We are trying. Uh, it, it's looking good. We haven't finished anything. We are not perfect yet. <clears throat> so can you see my screen? Yes, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. So I'm just showing you a roadmap map, and see where you place yourself in this journey. And this is what we want to be. We want to be an institute to train future teachers. We have a lot of experience about what's going on around the world, alhamdulillah. But we want to make it better. But our aim is not only just to teach Quranic Arabics to many students like this group, but also to train future teachers so that they can teach reward from it and you can be part of this group you can be part of this team we follow as you know as you already said it we our teacher is prophet muhammad so we follow what our teacher said that's only one mission and to do this easily comfortably nicely correctly fully inshallah we have got the platform we got the resources here it's proven, tested. So first group of students, there are two, three different steps here, milestone here. This is where you are today. You are going to study module one, module two here, one round. Most of you would be doing one round, means module one finish, then you'll do module two. After that, Allah knows. You don't have any plan. You don't have any target. You haven't got any goal. So Alhamdulillah, you know, through discussion might just help something. So this is our regular student. Alhamdulillah, they come and go. Alhamdulillah, that's fine. They attend regularly, homework, actively participate. And inshallah, they will understand Quranic verses and be able to make their own meaning. That's the target. It's fine. But there is something beyond that. As I say, it's a roadmap where you start, not where you go or where you can go. So the next step milestone here is being a potential teacher. You have already noticed, Alhamdulillah, I'm sure that probably inspired you as well. Some of our teachers, first time, they learned, they completed the course, they were trained, and they're teachers now. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. And uh, potential teachers, they will be doing at least two rounds. Two, two rounds total, in total. And some of them might do module one and two together, depending on their level. So anyone here on module one, if you, and some of you actually qualified to join our module two uh, uh, classes as well, I do know. But I'm just inviting you, any of you feel that you, can, you have time, you can manage both module one and module two. Even in the middle, you can join, no harm, and you will repeat it <laughs> later, if you have time. But if you don't have time, finish module one and two, one round, then pull another uh, complete module one and module two. So in total, total, 
two rounds of module one and module two you should be doing to become a teacher. And I would like to share with you so that you know. Sister Saida, are you here? Sister Saida, are you here? Yeah, Asalaamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Asalaam, yeah. I just wanted to make sure in the past, and so I'm just giving you the full information. In our module three, what's happening? In our module three, whatever we learned in module one and module two, that's direct application in the core. Uh, full revision of what we learned. It will start very slow, but gradually, gradually, it will become quite concise, quite compact, and we shall be studying full Surah Bakara using the grammar we learned, Alhamdulillah. And there will be full tafsir on Surah Bakara, and that will be also Zuz Amma, full, with tafsir, grammar, and word analysis. Just every word meaning its status, its plurality or singular or feminine, everything in a word will be covered slowly, slowly, slowly. And then selected surahs after that will continue in module three. Siratun Nabi, the story of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and Kasasun Nabi, history of all the prophets, 24. If this, 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 these are two long courses here with multiple choice questions attached to it so that we learn properly. And that is something, it is, it is going to really change everything for you, inshallah. And then on Dual 3, we'll have Hadith, we'll have Balaga, we'll have a lot of other things. But that's an ongoing thing. So why have I shared this with you? Because... I would like you to know what our roadmap is. Where do we start and where do we finish? Or do we finish at all? I don't know. However, I just gave you this roadmap. And um, we are also inviting today, and I'll repeat that in Module 2 class as well, that we can see some potential, but you have to have the intention. Ask one sister. Why are you learning this? She said, She's inspired by that. She wants to teach. Yes, this is the platform. You will be a teacher. Okay? So we would like to, I would like to invite you in the next two, three days. Okay? You don't have to be very good. Uh, as long as you are a serious student here. And you will uh, really mission that you want to be, be a teacher and teach others, okay? And obviously perfect your knowledge in following module two and other journey within our Quran Institute, then we invite you. You just came, okay. I'm just and admitted him. We just, um, um, uh, we are inviting you. Please tell us. You uh, send a direct message Mr. Sadiq. He has just joined. He obviously, um, uh, I will discuss this in, in details with him. So please just send a message saying, I would like to be a future teacher. And uh, I will personally deal with this side. There will be, apart from your participation in the class and all this, I would like to, um, we will be doing, I will be personally will be doing a teacher's training with you once a month or um, uh, on and off, time to time, as and when needed, inshallah. So we will get you ready. You don't have to be ready. You don't have to be very, very good. However, you need to be very serious and you need to have your aim fully sorted, your objective, your target sorted. You know where you are going, inshallah. So we're just inviting you, some of uh, the sisters, uh, we can see a lot of potential. Uh, uh, please respond uh, by uh, WhatsApp message directly to Usad Sadiq uh, and then we will discuss it. I'll come back to you 
And uh, it's a very simple thing. You will be doing exactly what you are doing, but there will be some extra support for you. So that is something you can be, become a AQI teacher in future classes, okay? And don't forget, unless you teach whatever you learn, all the, all the brilliant brothers and sisters, your learning will remain incomplete until you teach someone what you have learned. This is secret, but this is so simple secret, People sometimes don't even understand that. You have to, you, you need to just take a step. To, and that is what te teaching is about. Okay. So the first option you have is become a AQI teacher and teach at AQI future classes. When time will tell. No worry. Okay. You keep repeating. Inshallah, we will create an opportunity for you. So, um, and then while you are teaching, you are still doing this um, um, uh, the module three as well. You, you will continue that, and at the same time, you are you are still. The, the next option is oh, what happened? Okay, next option is uh, become a QA teacher, but you 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 will be qualified teacher from here. And finally, um, you may not be a teacher, but still stay with us, be a part, associate with AQI, and you continue module one, two, and three, not going into the teaching direction. That is also fine. I hope it is clear. Any question I would appreciate, could you please, um, because there were quite a lot I said, I want to make sure that you have got the message. Uh, could you please speak up? Students, anyone wants to say something? How did you find it? Uh, yes, yes, Alhamdulillah. Jazakallah khairan for giving us the opportunity to uh, be able to teach the other students to do it. Alhamdulillah. Uh, so the question here I want to ask is like, you know, uh, it has been mentioned here that, you know, being a teacher, you will, I mean, if you want to be a teacher, you have to attend the training. So I would like, how would be the training for like, you know, if we take a class, so how long would it be uh, in a month? In a, in a city, in a one session, it will be 90 minutes as usual. And this, um, my intention is one every two weeks, but even one every month is fine. The first one would happen pretty soon after we five. many participants. So it's just flexible, but we will do at least at least five or six trainings. Okay. Uh, but it will be at the same time when, when that training will happen, you will be still learning a lot of things, how to teach, how to bring, how to engage people, how, you know, all these other things as well. So, you know, you've got to be a leader. And I had to just uh, toughen my voice earlier when I was noticing that someone was taking advantage of our um, simplicity, our keenness to help them. Uh, and just breaking the rule. We have a rule. We have a principle. We said during teaching, no question. But someone still wants to talk. It's our interruption. So you need to be a tough leader. We will make you leader, sisters and brothers. We will make you leader. Okay? One bad news is, uh, sorry, uh, have I answered your question? It, it, it will be flexible. Yes. Okay, flexible. Okay and has to be suitable convenient for because we don't want to put too much pressure yeah okay all right inshallah. and uh, inshallah inshallah I, in fact training is ongoing the training is you know you will you will see and then and you know all these things are part of our training but specifically for teachers for this purpose there will be separate training inshallah 
So the bad news is there is no money here, sisters and brothers. This is all. We spend money, a lot of money from our pocket, but from our current institute platform, we will not charge. But we allow some teachers in some countries where they rely on this income because they don't have any other. So we allow them to charge an agreed fee with them to charge their students. But AQI name, inshallah, uh, we will not give anything. No teachers get paid here. Okay, fine. So very good question, sister. Other questions I wanted to hear. Anybody else wants to comment? Come forward. Sister Nazneen, you wanted to say something? The same thing I wanted to ask about the training and Sister Hajira did ask and I got my yeah. answer. Inshallah. Yeah. Good. Good. Anyone else? I have a question. Um, is there a way to find out what is the... Um, the curriculum, like what is covered in, sorry, in module two? Uh, as soon as you become part of this future teachers group, everything will be shared, including the full lesson book, inshallah, so that you can study in advance, no problem, okay? Okay. Uh, okay, sister? Yeah. Uh, teachers will have access to many other things, inshallah. Okay. Good question. Very good question. Uh, apart from a question, I mean, if if you like the idea, even if you are not good, this is some people will Allah will love as well. If you think, do share that because it will in, inspire us and others. So please, brother Zakir, brother Zakir here, Ustad, Ustad Sadiq here, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm here. Yes. Ustad yes. Mahmoud, let's stop the recording now. Recording has been stopped, is it not? No, it's been going on. Okay, we can stop now. It's 